Okay, last question on this paper. It's a full marker. It's relatively tricky. Um, and we need to use some of the formulas from the beginning of the book. Uh, so from the formula sheet. So we need to know that the formula for a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we need to know that the volume of a cone is equal to 1 third pi r squared h. Where h is the upright height, which we've got here. Now we're told the volume of the hemisphere is 400. So this volume of the hemisphere at the top is 400. So presumably, well, it will be if we double that, that would give us the volume of the total sphere. So that means that 800 is equal to pi. Oh, 800 is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So if we rearrange this, 2400 is equal to 4 pi r cubed of times both sides by 3, divided by 4, 600 is pi r cubed, or 600 divided by pi is equal to r cubed. So that means to find out what r is, I need to find the cube root of 600 divided by pi. So just on my calculator, check out calculator cam. So, oops, my apologies about that. So I need the square root of 600 over, oh, not the square root, I want the cube root of 600 divided by pi, and that's how I set it on my calculator. And that's equal to 5.75882283823. But I'm going to leave the answer on my calculator as normal. Let's go back up. So we now know that the volume of a cone is equal to 1 third pi r squared times h. So that's easy for us, so we can do a third times pi times the answer we just calculated squared times by the height, which if I remember rightly is 10. So that's where that's the radius times by 10. So let's just set that up on my calculator. One third times by times by my answer that I had from before squared times it by 10 let my calculator do the work but I have written it down here that gives me 347.29313866 it asks us for three significant figures so my final answer is 1, 2, 3 the 2 doesn't round it so it's just 347 centimeters cubed. Done.